this episode of Make It Real, Bogdan creates the world's first plasma energy sword from Halo. Now with four nozzles, you can only imagine how much power we're going to be dumping out of this thing. Halo Infinite has arrived, and we're so excited about it, we're going to be doing three special episodes tackling three different iconic pieces of tech from the game. Charles will build Master Chief's weapon of choice, the MA5, and Chelsea is working on the Halo HUD to give us real-life Halo perspective. And today, Bogdan gets us started with the Energy Sword. Wait a sec, this is a lightsaber. This can't be right. The Halo Energy Sword is a blade of confined plasma. So yeah, James is right, it is just like our lightsaber. In fact, it's one of the most powerful weapons in the game, and has been in every single installment of the franchise. But unlike our lightsaber, it is this weird triangular shape with a gap in the middle, not a single beam. So what if I take four of these and shape them into this? This is where the magic happens. This is a glass torch technology's mirage nozzle, used for glass blowing. We used one of these nozzles in our lightsaber build, and it worked phenomenally. So we've reached out to GTT and we're partnering with them for this project. They sent us four more. Here's the thing, hooking up one of these nozzles is not so simple. This might look like one continuous flame, but it's actually 40 smaller individual flames that are mixed together perfectly to give us our plasma blade. Each of these flames is comprised of two gases, hydrogen and oxygen, mixed together in three precise amounts, twice. Once for the inner ring of nozzles and once for the outer ring of nozzles. I'm going to need six hoses for each one of these nozzles. So if my math is right, we're going to need 24 hoses. How am I going to hook up 24 hoses? A manifold is a piper chamber branching into several openings, and that's exactly what we need to make. We need to take two hoses in and end up with 24 hoses out. That's a lot of hoses. Here's what I've come up with. First, the fuel line enters the solenoid, which allows us to turn the whole sword on and off. Then this gets split into two pathways, one for the inner ring of flames and one for the outer ring of flames. And finally, they get split into four pathways, one per nozzle. So all we have to do now is put them together. Here is our final fuel manifold. We've got one fuel line in and eight fuel lines out. I've also gone ahead and made an oxygen manifold, which does the same thing. We have one oxygen line in and 16 oxygen lines out. Together, this means we have two input lines and 24 output lines to power all of our nozzles. Over the years, we've built a ton of stuff, ranging from pretty simple to extremely elaborate. It takes a lot of tools to bring your favorite things from comics, video games, and movies to life. From the laser cutter to grinders, saws, soldering irons, welding stations, you name it, we've used it. But every single project starts with a design. And far more often than not, for us, that means using SolidWorks. Seriously, it's actually kind of hard to think of a project off the top of my head that didn't use SolidWorks. If you want to get into creating things like we do, SolidWorks should be your first step. And there's never been a better time than right now to get started. 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers is a new groundbreaking bundle that brings the industry's best 3D design tools to makers and DIYers all over the world for the insanely low price of only $99 a year. Included in the bundle is 3D Experience SolidWorks, which is what you see us use in pretty much every one of our videos. 3D Creator, a browser-based 3D CAD modeler that runs instantly on any device with zero installs required and 3D Sculptor, featuring freedom, push-pull modeling to make any shape easily and organically. This bundle is great for anyone learning the trade, making personal projects, and more. You can use SolidWorks' full suite of design tools to make your own personal energy sword, or design more conventional things like awesome DIY projects, woodworking projects, 3D printables, props, and almost any other type of personal project you can dream up. Visit the link in the description for more details and 20% off this already super low price and start making with SOLIDWORKS today. For the lightsaber, we used propane and oxygen. We chose propane because it's stored liquid, so we can get away with a smaller tank and fit it onto a backpack. These two tanks lasted us about eight minutes. But for the Halo Energy Sword, we're using four nozzles, so we'll need a little bit more gas. We're gonna need a different solution because we're gonna be using 140 liters a minute of oxygen. That's equivalent to 70 2 liter pop bottles. Not to mention, we also need an additional 40 liters a minute of fuel. That's an additional 22 liter bottles. 
And even though we buy our gases in compressed tanks, it's still too much for a backpack. There's no way that this is gonna fit on my back. The Halo Energy Sword is gonna need a tether. And if we're gonna have a tether, we might as well use a fuel that'll give us the most energy. And for us, that's hydrogen. Let me show you why. Three, two, one. So the oxyhydrogen flame melts the steel at about 50% faster. Now with four nozzles, you can only imagine how much power we're gonna be dumping out of this thing. Now that we have our nozzle and manifold sorted out, we have to figure out how we're gonna mount everything. Well, since the only solid part of the entire sword is the handle, we have to design a handle that's gonna hold the nozzles and give us the flame shape of the sword. To do that, we're gonna use SolidWorks. Okay, now that we have our handle in here, we just need to trace it. So I'm gonna grab some marks. So SolidWorks is a great option for design software because it is super powerful. You can basically design anything you can dream up of, whether it's lightsabers, halo swords, power loaders, you name it. And it's actually pretty easy to learn. There's a lot of great content on both SolidWorks' website and across the internet to be able to do just about anything. And then we can just extrude. And bam, there we have the basic outline of our handle. Now we just need to make it look nicer. To do that, let's start with the bulbs on the ends. We can use our revolve feature and the sketch we made before to round those off. So I can just select that there, select the axis of revolution, check mark, and there we go. You can do that on the other side as well. It's looking a little bit better already. Let's give it some fillets. Now we have our basic handle, but unfortunately I'm not an elite and I don't have three fingers. So we have to figure out how to make this comfortable to hold for a human while also figuring out where to put our nozzles. I'm thinking one on either side for the straight two flames and then two angled ones to make that triangular shape. I've gone ahead and added some screw holes to mount the nozzles and some clearance holes for the hoses. Now I'm gonna finalize the details and we'll be ready to 3D print. Our print turned out great. Time to make it look the part. I've painted my handle, I've got all my pieces, so it's time for final assembly. Hello? Hello? This call is from is Canada Border Services Agent. Canada Border Services Agently? Next up, we gotta hook up these hoses to our handle. <laughs> Time for our first test. Wearing uh, all the proper safety protective equipment, because if there's a leak, it's gonna be bad. Tested for leaks. We should be okay, but better be safe than sorry. We got four equal flames. Nice, that's really good, that's really good. I'm gonna check the temperature of the nozzles, make sure they're not overheating and they're, they are not. Which is, I can see I can hold on to them. No, no Bernie. All right, I want you to cut it. Sweet, and then I wanna try relighting. And cut it and reopen it. Okay, we're good. All good. Now that we know what works, I'm gonna add some details. Okay, so we've got some LEDs on this acrylic piece, which doesn't seem to melt, so hopefully that stays true throughout the test. But I've only put the LEDs on one side because I don't want them to get damaged from the heat, and the actual flames will light up the acrylic as well. I think we're ready for the final test. I just built the world's first plasma-based Halo Energy Sword. Oh my god. You ready, Master Chief? 
Oh, look at it burn! Oh my gosh, that is so much heat. Holy crap. That is so freaking hot. That was really freaking warm. My little, little acrylic pieces got a little toasty. What's next, Master Chief? Did your uh, laptop freeze again? Here, uh, set it down, I'll warm it up for you. Yeah, just, uh, just set it down. It'll only take a few seconds. Ah! Look at it. Look at it melt! Yes! Ah! Ah! Okay, my hands are getting really hot. It just feels like you're literally standing in the sun. Oh my goodness, look at the back of that. Ah! Take that, laptop! Look at the keycaps, look, look, look at the buttons. The button's just on fire. That's what you wanted, right, Mr. Mr. Chief? This thing puts so much thermal energy out that I cannot stand near it for more than five to 10 seconds without my entire body feeling like it's on fire. It's ridiculous. So I've taken a bit of a break now. Let's cut some more stuff. Master Chief, ready to destroy the jug? All right, I'm gonna take this one slow. I wanna see if I can melt the entire thing into a nice puddle of uh, glass. Ooh, I can hear it crackling. Woo! Top blew off. Oh, it's cracking. Get a drip. Feel that drip? You see it? That's just a piece of glass popping off. Oh, look at that. That is so freaking cool. Look at it glowing. I think I made art. Is this what glass blowing is like? I don't think the sword needs any more energy. Ah! Melting. Woo! Ha ha. Freaking covered in Red Bull now. Look what you did, Daryl. Freaking popped all over me. Can I call you Mr. Chief instead of Master Chief? Whose bright idea was this? Mr. Chief, is this yours? Okay. Ha! Oh, look at it. Witness it. We've got some tempered glass here. Too bad it can't stand up to my temper. Ha! Come on. You can see the stress marks. It's gonna explode any second. Off. Look at him. Woo! Yeah! That was awesome. I want to cut more stuff. I'm retuning the nozzle to try to get a bit of a more consistent flame. You call that a light? This is a light. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what this can do against some steel. No chance. Can you believe it takes three minutes to make popcorn in a microwave? I don't have that kind of time. Off, oh, guys. Watch out. Damn it, I ruined my popcorn. Yes! In the power loader finale, you saw us bend this bar like a toothpick using the power loader. Now, let's finish it off. Making this Halo Energy Sword was super, super fun. And the destruction was an absolute blast. So make sure you're subscribed because we've got lots of projects like this coming every single week. Yeah! <laughs>